Hello Club Psych Kids, this is Andrea again and this is my assistant Claire. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be making lemon burst cookies. This morning we did science with lemons, today we are cooking with lemons. This recipe is very, very simple. It takes a box of lemon cake mix, Cool Whip, and two eggs. That's all you need. Now here is the secret. The reason why we're using lemon cake mix is because we did science with lemons this morning. If you don't have lemon cake mix, these cookies work with any flavor cake mix you have. So it may not relate, but it will work. So what we're going to first do is we are going to dump the cake mix into the bowl. We're going to do the dumping. All of it. All of it. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to crack two eggs. I like to, Claire's going to show you how to crack eggs. Hold on there, dear. I like to always crack it into a separate bowl. That way, if you do get some shells, it's a lot easier to get it out of there. So, you're going to crack the egg, put the shell there. Two fingers in, you push, and you pull. Excellent. So you're going to do two of those. You can do that edge. There you go. Perfect. Now, use that spoon. Mix them up slightly. Yeah, no shells. Just, oh, she's breaking the yolk. There you go. Mix them up. All right, just want to mix them up just a little bit. Go ahead and dump it in here, and I will hold it up so people can see what it looks like as you're dumping it into there. All right, go ahead and mix it up. And when I tell you that these are super easy cookies to make, I'm not lying, they're very easy to make. You're almost half done. Now, you do need to preheat the oven to 350. They're going to bake for about 8 to 10 minutes. And even though you're using the cake mix, do not follow the directions on the back. All you need is one box of cake and two eggs. And now what we're, well, that makes a cake. And now what we're going to do is you just take the entire thing of Cool Whip and plop it in. Plop it in. Use that spoon. There we go. Yeah, it was lemon. No. Okay. And it's going to take probably a couple of minutes to fully mix. So go ahead and mix it all up. All right, now that your Cool Whip and the eggs and the mix are thoroughly mixed up, we are now going to, um, you need a little bit of, of uh, powdered sugar. So Claire, go ahead and fill, probably need about a cup or so, go ahead and dump some in there to the bowl. It's about a half full. And you will also need two tiny, um, two teaspoons. A little bit more. There you go. We can always get more if you need it. And we will probably use two pans. Go ahead and spray the first one. Not my thumb. Let me help. You hold the pan. There we go. Okay. There we go. So we are going to show you how to scoop them on to the pan. So you're going to use one teaspoon, that's good, to drop it, use the other spoon, use the other spoon to scrape it off the back. So what you're doing is you're actually taking little balls of dough, dropping it into the powdered sugar, you're covering up the dough, there you go, now pick it up, kind of like a snowball, and then you're just going to line them up, perfect. Go ahead and do some more. This probably will make, that's a little bit big. Um, this will probably make 
about 24 cookies, especially if you make them a little bit smaller. Um, and you do want them all about the same size so they cook evenly because these do burn quickly if they're thinner. All right, so what you need to do is you need to keep them apart. Now make your other ones a little bit smaller. And I like to do three across and then four up and down. So go ahead and um, scoop all of your cookies onto your um, cookie trays and we will meet you when you're ready to pop them in the oven. Our cookies are on the tray and now they're ready to go into the oven again they go into the oven at 350 for about 8 to 10 minutes it's important to check them right at about 8 minutes because they do burn um, quite easily our cookies have come out of the oven and they smell delicious um, the thing is they do spread out a little bit so you do want to make sure that you do leave enough room um, in between them, but it's not actually too difficult, um, especially when they first come out of the oven. You can really just make your own lines and they stay nice and moist. It's best if you let them sit and firm up for about five minutes before you start taking them off. Um, so take them off then let them cool so you can be enjoying them in about 10 minutes so let me know how you like them and i've had a great time cooking with you today